In this example, we're going to walk through the basic steps of adding a calculated field. So in this scenario, we have a customer that wants to be able to identify very clearly the six month anniversary date from when the, the account, their customer's record was officially created within the CRM system. So we're going to create a, a calculated field and we're going to start just by creating a regular date time field in CRM. So we're going to, as you can see, we're already in our default solution and I've, I've gone under fields. The first thing I'll do is click new and that's going to open up the, uh, the attribute field for us to create our basic uh, our field. So we're going to call this one six month anniversary date. There we go. And we'll set the right date data type here and we'll choose date and time. Now you'll notice that in, in Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2015 we have a new field called field type and by default it's set to simple. So the simple field type is just like you've created in the past. Just creates a regular date time field, no calculations, no rollups. Now, if I want to make this a calculated field, I click on that drop down and I'm going to select calculated. Now when I do that, you'll see we have an edit button. Now before I can actually click on that and do anything meaningful with it, I first have to physically create this attribute. So I'm going to click the save button. Now if you forget that and you click edit, it's going to um, create the field anyway. So it's if you want to save yourself a click, I suppose, you can just click edit and it'll get you to the same spot. All right, so our field has been created. Now, we'll see here that we have another window opening up and this is where we're going to set the logic of this uh, anniversary date. So as you can see, we can actually do a condition. Now, in this example, in this video, I'm not going to really focus on conditions. What we're going to focus on are just a basic action. And in this action, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on adding six months to the created on date of an account. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to click Add Action. And you can see it opens up this little window for me, or this window within the window, a frame. So what I'm going to do here, you can see it, it actually opens up a whole list of things I can do in my calculated field. So what we want to do is we want to add six months to a specific field. Now, as you can see, I can see a whole bunch of different formulas and fields and whatnot. Now, I want to find here at the very top, we have add months. Now, it tells me what the logic should be. So it shows that I can select add months, then I have to put a number in there, and then I have to identify which field it is I want to add those months to. So I select add months, and now I'm going to add, I want to put in the number six, comma, and the next thing we want to do, I want to find that created on date. So we're going to scroll down here a ways. There it is. Give it a double click. And now I've designed my formula. Now, if I, if I would have known the attribute name or the right schema name, I could have typed that in just as easily. All right. So we're going to take this. I'm going to approve it. So I'm going to click on that little uh, blue check mark there. And that saves my changes. All right. Next, I'm going to click Save and Close. And now we've sort of finished up this part of the process. So I'm going to click Save and Close, and I'm going to go under Forms and add, the, add my attribute to the form. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, I could have done this directly from the form, but this is the path I, I chose to take in this particular video. So we wait for the forms to load. And we're going to add this directly to my account form. There we go. And from this point, it's just like doing a regular form customization. So there's nothing different about how we add the field to the form. So right at the top of my list here, I see six month anniversary date. So I'm going to take that and drag and drop it right up here. All right. Now I want to make sure that I, I'm going to actually override, I'm going to set this so it's read only because I don't want anybody kind of playing around with it. I want the system to calculate that for me. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and um, click Save and Close. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and actually publish this. All right, so we'll go ahead and publish our account entity. I'm not going to publish all because that's, you know, not while you can do that, I may have other people doing customizations in here. So I only want to, I'm going to publish just the entity that I'm actually working on. So we'll go ahead and select Account and I'll select Publish. And that's going to, of course, commit my com customizations. So what we're going to do now when this is done, we're going to go test it out and see how it actually worked. 
give us a few moments to complete. There we go. Let's go ahead and okay. So let's go test this out. And what I want to do, just for the sake of brevity, I'm going to click on the Quick Create button. I'm going to quickly add an account. So we're going to call this. Once my form loads here, we're going to give it a name, and we're going to call this SGS Testing Incorporated, SGS Testing Inc. And I'll click Save. All right. And once it saves, I'm going to go right into that record, and we'll see what we get here. There we go. Now, so today is December 30th of 2014, and as you can see here, we've actually added six months to that date. So on June 30th, 2015, that's going to be the six-month anniversary date. And now as a business, we're going to take some other actions between now and then and evaluate our success based upon hitting that date. So as you can see, the creation of a calculated field is both very simple and can be very helpful when doing various kinds of design work.